Uh, hi, Gretsch Stand, uh, NAM 2016. We're here with uh, for Long and McQuaid looking at the new streamliners for uh, Gretsch guitars. Uh, this is a new uh, streamliner collection. It's a brand new collection of guitars for Gretsch, uh, introduced right here, right now. Uh, what we're looking at is a series of guitars which uh, have a great deal of um, detail, um, which has come from Gretsch history, the long legacy of Gretsch electric guitars over the last 60 years, all brought together now in this brand new series. Uh, let's start with this one. We'll have a look at this. One of the biggest uh, new features of these guitars, and this is the whole range of the new pickups. These are the Broadtron pickups. You'll find them on all the new streamliners. They've been developed um, especially for these guitars uh, by the Gretsch R&D team, headed up by Chris Fleming. Um, we developed these uh, pickups through uh, prototyping maybe three or four different things until we found the sound we're looking for. Uh, so tonal tonally speaking, what you've got is somewhere between the classic Gretsch filter John sound and the classic humbucker sound. So you still have the clarity and the bite and the uh, smooth top end of a Gretsch filter John, but with the sort of the fullness and uh, uh, sound of a classic humbucker, makes it really uh, great for high distortion, modern overdrive sounds. These are really great guitars to really crank up and rock out with. So these pickups, broad John pickups, brand new for the Streamliner series. Uh, what else have we got on this? guitar you see the other common features for example these knobs are based on the knobs you'll find on the Gretsch Electro 1 and 2 back in the early 50s uh, the pick guard is the classic sort of Eurojet, Eurojet teardrop shape on there we've got the secured bridge uh, we've got the um, on the fretboard up here we have the big block inlays that you find on Gretsch's from the mid early 50s uh, so really loads of stuff from the, the history of Gretsch brought together here uh, on this particular guitar and this beautiful flag staff sunset finish which is reminiscent of the color we introduced in 1958 on the Tennessee Rose. Uh, this particular one is the hollow body version 2420, uh, sorry 2420T uh, classic Gretsch shape 16 inches across the, this is really the quintessential Gretsch in terms of the shape the, the hollow body. Uh, we have three versions of this two with Bigsby one without so we have the Flagstaff Sunset, we have the new color, the gold dust just over here. It's a metallic gold finish, uh, again with the Bigsby B60 on there. And then we have the new Sunburst, the aged Brooklyn Burst. And with this one you get the option, the, uh, the, the hardtail version, which is the chromatic tail piece. Again, a new design for the streamliners but a classic design. You can see the influence there from the old chromatic tailpiece of the 40s, the G cutout tailpiece that we still do on many other guitars. So that's the hollow body, the 2420T uh, and 2420. Uh, the next part of the Streamliner collection is the double cut center block guitar, 2422. Um, so what you have is a double cut thin line model and this has a center block going all the way down the middle here. It's what we call the trestle block. Reason being, it's a solid piece of spruce that goes all the way from top to tail, but has a big chambered section in the middle, which really helps to relieve the weight of it, gives it a big resonant tone that you expect from a, a semi-hollow guitar, uh, but also helps to focus the sound and resistant to feedback. So when you're playing really high gain sounds, when you're really playing a rock gig, heavy, loud, noisy, you can really control that, any feedback that you get. Uh, the other features are common with the other guitar, the same knobs, the same pick guard, and those same broad, Broadtron pickups. Uh, this one, of course, has a Bigsby B70 on it to get that right tension from the bridge. Uh, this color is a brand new color again, Torino Green. Really cool color, kind of reminiscent of the original Streamliners from uh, the, the uh, late 60s, those, those particular brand of Streamliners. So the Streamliner name itself has a heritage in Gretsch history as well. Um, on the hardtail version of the uh, 2422, we have a new tailpiece. So this is the brand new Gretsch V stop tailpiece. Uh, again, it's a, new, it's a new design, it's new for these guitars, but it has legacy in Gretsch history. The uh, V-shaped design is reminiscent of the uh, uh, Cadillac tailpiece from the Falcons and from the Penguins. Uh, also, you can see that sort of V-shape in the Gretsch branded Bigsby's where they have the V cutout on those. So the inspiration and influence for this uh, tailpiece is certainly Gretsch, but it's a brand new thing for these guitars at the same time. And this one finished in this beautiful trans walnut stain. Uh, the 
22 also available in the Flagstaff Sunset with Bigsby option. Uh, and we also have down here the left-handed version. So if, you, if you're a Southpaw, you get the option of having this one with the hardtail and the Flagstaff Sunset. <coughs> Finally, in the Streamliner range, the third model is the um, Center Block Junior guitar. You can see it's a bit more compact, 13 and a half inches across, just like the Jets, um, that sort of Jet size, but still the semi-hollow construction. Still got that spruce center block with the uh, trestle style, uh, sorry, trestle block bracing, which has the uh, chambering in the middle to keep it really nice and lightweight. So the small size, lightweight, you can throw this guitar around the stage, you can jump around with it, do whatever you want. You can wang the big B and you're going to go places. Uh, same thing, big block inlays, the classic Gretsch headstock, walnut stain on this one. The Bigsby also comes, the Bigsby version also comes in black, classic black. And we have the, uh, the non-Bigsby version right here in the Flagstaff Sunset again, again with that V stop tail piece. So a great range of guitars, great price, you get a lot of guitar for the money. Uh, this is the sort of guitar that if you uh, have never tried a Gretsch before, this is a great way to, be ent uh, to enter into the Gretsch world, try out what, what we do. Uh, if you're already a Gretsch fan or a Gretsch player, you can get one of these as a backup guitar or a second guitar. Every guitar collection needs at least one of these pieces because they're just great for the money. So that's a great streamliner collection. Uh, and we're going to go and talk about the Players Edition next. So let's go and look at them. We're looking now at the Gretsch Professional Collection, uh, Players Edition. Brand new line for the uh, Professional Collection. These are the contemporary Gretsch. These are the modern Gretsch for the modern player. Uh, this is the guitar you can use every night, every gig, every song. It's not just a one, uh, one song guitar anymore. You can play uh, the full gig on these guitars and not have to worry about anything to do with tuning, any, any of the issues that you might expect. Uh, and I'll tell you why. We'll start at the top here. This is, of course, a flagship model for Gretsch, the Gretsch White Falcon, with that classic big old headstock on there and those imperial tuners. But on this particular model, we're looking at locking tuners. So we start the, uh, the whole recipe with these uh, locking tuners. Um, from there, we go down through to the nut, which is a Graftec Tusk XL nut. So it's self-lubricating, and also it's because it's uh, artificial ivory, it has a great tone, great sustain. Strings go down the ebony fretboard over the Gretsch high-sensitive Filtertron pickups to the rocking bar bridge. This is the next part of the recipe for tonality and for tuning stability. We think this bridge is the best one you can use. It's solid brass, there's no moving parts, great sustain, great tone, full sound, and that's sitting on a pinned bridge base, so that's not sliding around anywhere. No matter how hard you strum it, that's not going anywhere. And then. That goes down to this new feature as well. This is the, uh, it's a, obviously a Bigsby B6, but it's the new string through Bigsby version. So the strings now, instead of going onto pins, they go through holes in the, in the bar there and round and up to the locking tuners. It's the quickest restring any, on any guitar you'll ever try. You just put it through there, up there, tighten that up, and you're done. And that obviously it also has um, tuning stability that is pretty much unparalleled. Really excellent tuning stability. Uh, these guitars are also slightly thinner. A classic Balkan is two and three quarter inches thick. This is two and a quarter inches. So it's a little bit more manageable to get your arm around so you don't get fatigued throughout a long gig. Uh, that's all the visual stuff on the outside, but we've got more secrets on the inside of these guitars. I have to say, by the way, that uh, on the Players Edition guitars, we have all the gra classic Gretsch models that everyone loves, uh, but they all share these same features. All the features I'm telling you about are on all these guitars. So the Nashville, Anniversary, Country Gent, Tennessee Rose, they all share these same features. So to continue with those features, the secret stuff on the master volume control. And by the way, we have that classic Gretsch layout of master volume, volume per pickup and a master tone. So on the volume control, we have a treble bleed. So now you turn that down, you're not going to lose your tone. You can maintain that uh, nice high end that Gretsch is known for, but just adjust the volume accordingly. Uh, and then on the tone control, and this is a brand new feature for Gretsch again, this is a no load tone control, so it has a slight indent. So when you turned up to 10, completely bypass the tone control, and then go through the indent, and then you've got a classic tone control, except with our new paper and oil squeeze box capacitors, you have a really smooth transition down that tone, so you never get muddy, you just get great tone all the way down. Uh, finally, on the inside of these guitars, we have uh, ML bracing which is a modern variant on our classic trestle bracing. Uh, it has two feet that join the guitar top to the back, 
So you really have a solid feeling guitar, you have better sustain, you have some feedback resistance, uh, but you also, because it only has two feet instead of four like the trestle bracing, you have a big open hollow body sound, uh, a lot more air moving through this guitar, so you really get a full sound that you come to love from Gretsch and hollow body guitars. So as I said, that's the white falcon. We also have the black falcon, which is missing right now. We have a country gentleman. Uh, we have the Tennessee Rose. We have the lefty falcon. We've got something for everyone up here. Uh, over this side, we have a new color as well, just to talk about that. This is an anniversary model. Uh, anniversary is, of course, introduced in 1958. It's probably the longest running anniversary model in history. But we have the classic two-tone finish that anniversary models are known for. But this one has a new color scheme. This is Lotus Ivory on the top and charcoal metallic back and sides. And again, with all those features that I just mentioned to make it the most playable Gretsch that you'll ever see, uh, but this one, because it's an anniversary, doesn't have the binding on the, on the uh, fretboard and the F-holes, makes it a really cool workhorse guitar. You can really thrash this one out and you, you know it's not going to go wrong, you know it's just going to serve you well through every song, every gig, every night. So that's, that's the Gretsch Players Edition. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I think, um, yeah, go and check them out. Go and check them out. Long and McQuaid, uh, Great Guitars, NAM 2016. Thanks very much.